My uh, clock has ticked over to the full hour, so let's get started. So we have 40 attendees uh, and 10 panelists now. I'm sure more people will be coming in the next few minutes, and there will be many others uh, viewing the recordings online and coming in later on. So welcome, everybody. Uh, thank you very much for coming to the Photo Minutes Data Conference 2021. Uh, we're very excited to be here with you. So this is the second online conference. We did one last year. Uh, we again have more than 200 registrants from over 32 countries, which is pretty amazing. Uh, so for those who aren't aware, it's uh, this first metadata conference has been running for 15 years now. This is the 15th conference. And uh, up until last year, we had all of the events physically uh, in association with CPIC, the uh, Picture Industry Association. And uh, hopefully we'll be back with them next year, but we'll probably end up doing some sort of a hybrid event next year. So we'll see how that works. So I just wanted to spend a couple of minutes explaining who IPTC is and uh, what we do before handing over to David for the first session. So we are a, a nonprofit organization uh, based in the UK, but a global organization of companies and uh, other organizations who are interested in promoting standards in the news and media industries. So we go way, way back to 1965. And uh, I always show these at the beginning of uh, presentations, we found some uh, interesting articles from old newsletters uh, that we've had scanned. And uh, so we had things like sending a newspaper page 50,000 miles in only 15 minutes, which was cutting edge technology back in 1967. Uh, and in 1987, uh, we uh, were the organization that promoted the first version of what was called the digital news photo standard. So uh, this was a proposal uh, discussed within IPTC and the American Newspaper Publishers Association, which then became NAA. Uh, so then it uh, became part of the uh, information interchange model, and the rest is history, which you will hear about later, of uh, how things have evolved recently. But one other interesting thing from that uh, 1987 uh, newsletter that I found was a letter to IPTC from Ronald Reagan. So for those who are not reading the text, I can read out parts of it. So Ronald Reagan sent a message on White House letterhead in uh, June the 2nd, 1987, saying, I'm delighted to send greetings to everyone at the annual meeting of the International Press Telecommunications Council. My warm welcome goes to our guests from abroad. It would be hard to exaggerate the importance of your work in today's world. Uh, international trade, as well as the world economy, depends on this information uh, traveling uh, across borders. So uh, I paraphrased a little bit there. So I just thought it was interesting for uh, Ronald Reagan to send messages like that. So it uh, shows the kind of uh, company we keep. <laughs> so uh, just very, very quickly in terms of what we do at IPTC. So we do maintain our standards. You'll be hearing a bit about those today. Uh, so we've got standards in news distribution, uh, sports information, news uh, vocabularies and taxonomies, rights information as well. Uh, obviously, we run events such as this one, but we also have member meetings, so closed uh, three-day meetings for IPTC members. And um, sometimes we run special events and we're doing more and more webinars now. So if you have suggestions for topics you would like to hear in a webinar, then please let me know. Uh, we also do software development. We publish open source software that helps people use our standards and little tools and services that we add to our website. You'll be hearing a lot about the uh, interoperability tools that Michael has built uh, later on today. And we also work with commercial and open source vendors to make sure that they're implementing our standards as well as they can. And uh, we're always happy to help if there are um, some developers out there that uh, would like some advice or uh, for us to check over what they've done. And, uh, and we also work with other organizations, promoting standards and promoting the news and media industry to other groups. Uh, we have regular meetings with SEPA, for example, the people behind the EXIF standards. So we're working very closely with them now. 
And also we do a lot of knowledge sharing and collaboration between and amongst our members. So speaking of members, uh, we have a few, I'll go across these very, very quickly. I just wanted to put these in the slides for people having a look afterwards, really. So uh, these are our members paying for more than one membership. So we thank those a lot. Uh, and uh, then we've got uh, many sort of household names as members here. Uh, I can come back and talk about these later for anyone who wants to ask. And uh, many, many associate members. We have about 70 uh, members that are organizations overall. And uh, we've recently allowed some startup members to join. Uh, so that's going quite well. If there is anyone out there from a startup that's interested in working with IPTC, we're very happy to talk. And we also have individual members uh, who are generally consultants or individual actors that aren't representing a company. And then uh, some honorary members, including Michael, who will be speaking later today. Uh, and so we have members from all over the world, but generally the top half of the world. So we would love to see some more members from, uh, from the lower half. I'm originally Australian, so don't uh, in think I'm implying anything by saying the top half of the world. <laughs> uh, so in terms of the agenda, you know what's happening, but I just thought I would uh, share. So we've got David speaking about the new uh, properties that we've just launched. Uh, Sam will be talking about how uh, people uh, with visible with uh, visual disabilities uh, use screen readers. I'm very interested to see how that works. We're having a great session about uh, what it takes day to day to make images accessible. Uh, and then on the tool side of things, we're hearing about uh, how to build systems that can uh, deal with these new accessibility fields and other accessibility information. Then uh, Michael will be uh, introducing the photometadata interoperability tests that I've mentioned very briefly. And, uh, and then we've got Santiago from Adobe talking about the C2PA and the Content Authenticity Initiative that uh, works with C2PA. So we've got a packed four hours coming up. So I look forward to uh, seeing how it goes. So just a couple of very quick notes. Uh, the speakers already know this, but just for everyone else to say, we are using the live closed captioning feature on Zoom. So that's why you're seeing some words appear on the bottom of the screen. Uh, just a reminder to speakers, don't forget to introduce yourself which I actually didn't do. I'm Brendan Quinn. I'm the managing director of IPTC. <laughs> uh, so at least I did it now. Uh, and we've already gone over um, sharing the sound and that sort of thing, so it's all good. So the presentations are now available on the event page. So for those of you who would prefer to uh, view the presentations in whatever tool uh, works for you, we now have PDFs available on the, the site, the page from where you registered. So feel free to go there and you'll be able to download the presentations and you can follow along. Uh, the, the sessions will be recorded, they are already being recorded, so we will be publishing recordings of each session in the next week or two. Uh, and uh, that's all I had to say, so I can hand over to David, who can talk about the new accessibility properties in the IPTC Photometer Data Standard.